mean, I think the average, I'm, this is just my assumption based on the literature of what I see, plus the acknowledgement that there's recency bias. I think like 80% of all GLP-1 medications that have ever been prescribed have been prescribed in the last 18 to 24 months. Like, I think that's probably roughly what the number is. So I think the average like time that people are using it is somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 to 24 months for their initial use. And gotcha. then they, yeah. a lot of people come back and end up using them again later. Well, so now one of the things that I want to make sure that we cover in this episode is, and it always, like, I don't, for the record, anybody listening, I, this is not meant to make these GLP ones sound like they're a bad thing or a negative at all. There are just side effects to consider, mm-hmm. right? And I, I, I want to make sure that this episode isn't painting it like in a negative light, because there are a lot of benefits and positive things to these types of medications. It can be a great tool, um, but I think it's important to cover, you know, some of the, some of the risks and just be aware of it. But when people come off of these medications, we probably have data on what is what does the rebound look like? Um, so I think the best way to describe it is we have data on these medications, their discontinued use. And it's fair we have a large amount of data, so we know fairly well what happens, right? <clears throat> if you look at effectively what happens is if people are on these medications for a year, a year and a half, and they just stop taking them and there's no additional lifestyle support, about 80% of the weight comes back in about a year. Um, That's just kind of roughly what it looks like. But uh, that is what we see, right? We know that the rate of weight regain is not inherently unique to these medications this is everything we have seen in the weight loss literature from medications from the dawn of weight loss medications 